Hi, everyone. Hello there. Um, so um, I guess like, lo like lots of people um, who, who, are, who are currently next door, um, about five years ago, um, I was also running a fintech company. And like lots of people there, I was also worried about going to jail. So what I, what I decided to do was help companies by laundering money and funding terrorist groups, or at least trying to prevent the laundering of money and the funding of terrorist groups. Um, so um, what, what we built in the past five years is a team of 250 people. Um, we have clients in 60 countries um, and hundreds of clients all, all over the world. Um, so that kind of ranges from payment companies, banks, fintechs, um, large corporates. Um, so just kind of taking a step back in terms of how we actually got here. So um, if you're a large bank, then probably you're doing 2 billion individual payments consisting of trillions of dollars every year. Um, within that, there'll be 100 million payments or transactions which are considered to be high risk, which you then need to check and remediate. Um, if you're Jake Morgan, you have a billion entities that you're transacting with. If you're an investor here, if you're an LP, you probably have a few hundred different investors um, or portfolio companies or, or, or suppliers. So the problem as business becomes more international is really understanding who those people are. They could be running brothels, they could be trafficking wildlife, they could be drug cartels, they could be sanctioned, they could be Syrian terrorist groups. So, so really, there are all kinds of threats. And if you interact with those people, then not only are you morally committing a violation, but also you'll probably be in serious trouble with authorities. So for me, um, running a fintech company, I was like, this is super interesting, super important, and also really challenging, because despite lots of investment, no one's really solved it. So um, that's kind of the kind of journey I set out upon five years ago. Um, so the kind of specific thing that I built um, with that is kind of all the different stages um, of the underlying systems that fintechs, corporates, investors have to be able to understand and analyze. So when you first bring on a client, you have to understand, is that person a threat? Has there been adverse media about that person? Secondly, when you're then monitoring that client, as in if you've got a billion clients, which of those have become bad? Which of those have decided to go to the dark side? Then when those people are on board and they're making payments or transacting, you have to understand if that money is going to a sanctioned bank, if it's going to someone bad, you, you have to understand the kind of flow of transfer of money. And finally, um, when you have thousands of people transacting or interacting with different entities via your platform or, 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 or through you, um, are there bad things happening? So for instance, have they hijacked the identities of students and are using them to launder money by cutting up payments into small amounts. So that's something called cuckoo smurfing, right? So there are all kinds of problems and processes that every company has to be able to understand, analyze. And so what we built um, is the kind of full suite of not only systems, but also the underlying structural data behind that. Um, yeah, so in terms of the actual cost, I think if you, if you look at any fintech or any, or any bank or any kind of large corporate, they'll have massive teams dedicated to this biggest problem. So um, if you're a large company, say, a, a kind of neobank, you might have 100 people doing customer support or maybe 200 people doing the underlying compliance operations, of which the biggest part will be money laundering. So um, if you have 7.5 billion people in the world, there's no way to be able to track whose people are, what they're doing manually. You have to have a kind of automated system to understand every person, their behavior, um, their interactions, um, and all different companies. So um, what we built in the past five years is um, a system which automatically extracts every known web page system um, and then brings from that um, all the people, all the companies, um, and, every, and, and, and every particular threat about them. So the way this was done in the past is you'd have a team of 400 researchers who would manually collect information, right? So you'd have a team in, in, in the Philippines or in South Africa, and they'd try and manually update profiles of people that are considered high risk and information about them. Whereas for me, that was crazy. And what we've done is automatically ingest information, extract the entities, combine them, 
um, and then link the data back to where that's from. That's better, um, but also hopefully it can go some way to understanding precisely who is a threat, right? So, um, yeah, I think, and, and then also we built the software on top of that. So, because it's full stack, you're able to fully understand end to end and connect the systems to each other, and therefore hopefully try and solve the problem that we alluded to early on, which is the problem of money laundering terrorist financing. Um, so, for instance, um, Right now, we have a client who is monitoring a client base of 40 million names. Every day, those clients could be going off. They could be running porn studios. They could be um, funding drug gangs. And if you have to keep track of 40 million clients, that's very hard to do manually, right? So the old way of doing it would be to have a team of people in a warehouse who would then Google the names, right? Um, I thought that was a bit crazy, and evidently, you can see that given the amount of crime and evil in the world, that wasn't really working, right? So what we've done is replace that with an automated system which precisely picks out which the threats are, disambiguates the person, and then sends the alert back to the team. So rather than having teams of people who are doing that manually, you're able to have a team that can just look at the actual threats and risks. And those people can no longer um, do evil stuff and fund it via um, the bank account because we've shut that down. So um, yeah, I think the, 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 kind of the, the evil people have stopped. Um, um, and the good people win, which is always a good outcome. Uh, yeah, so um, what we're trying to do is apply all the cool technology around machine learning and knowledge graphs and graph databases to build a global database of every person and company in the world and everything about them, and then relate that back to every client that every company has in the world. And so far, it's going reasonably well. Um, I guess people in the room, most of you are probably investors, I guess. So if you're invested in like a fintech company and you're worried about a big fine um, destroying the company or going to jail, then hopefully you should tell them to use Compile Vantage, I think. Um, yeah, if you want to know more, we've got a website, you can email me. Um, I'm outside probably getting a croissant. So yeah, um, thanks for having me.